Welcome to the Mojo Minute. Search marketing wisdom in a minute. In today's Mojo Minute, Janet Driscoll Miller discusses the implication of recent webmaster guideline updates by Google affecting link building practices. There's been a lot of conflicting information coming out of Google, and some of it saying basically that uh, all of the anchor text that you have in press releases as an example or any articles should not be optimized for SEO but on the other hand Google has said we don't ca we don't count those links to begin with and that those links should be no follow but if they don't count to begin with why do they need to be no follow what does it matter so there's a lot of conflicting information coming out from Google about linking specifically around press releases and articles and I think for uh, a lot of folks that that leaves some questioning well what kind of marketing initiatives can I use then to help my SEO efforts going forward. And so um, I think for many people it seems very um, drastic and they're fearful of what that means for SEO, but uh, I think that there are some things that you need to remember when you go into a situation like this. Um, the first is just stay calm. <laughs> don't freak out. The sky is not falling and uh, you don't have to have the chicken little effect. But I feel like every time Google has an announcement like this, that's exactly what happens. Everyone starts to worry about what the SEO uh, changes. Um, wait for the comments that follow because there's going to be fallout over the next couple of days as to really what's going on with this announcement. What does it truly mean? Because again, there are conflicting messages from Google coming out and it makes it very confusing for the rest of us and, and Google knows that. So you'll probably hear more comments coming out to clarify their position on some things. And also I always like to tell people, remember that it's not just your site being affected, it's many sites. Uh, you're not the only one who's creating press releases. Everyone is. You're not the only one doing some of these SEO tactics. Everyone is. So knowing that so many people are using those particular tactics means that it won't just impact your site. It may impact many, many, many sites across the board. So it's not time to freak out just yet. So how should re you react to all this? What should you do going forward? What are the best practices now that Google has put out this information? The reality is it's pretty brand new, so there aren't any best practices necessarily, but I like to think of Google's comments to me as a, as a webmaster and as an SEO as uh, guidelines that they want me to follow, obviously, and I always try to just keep in mind what makes sense, what makes legitimate sense, uh, in, what would make sense in Google's eyes, and what are they really trying to achieve? And, you know, for those of you who work in-house, you may not see a lot of real spamminess necessarily in your industry, but I can tell you as someone who works in an agency, the spamminess on the web for SEO purposes is disgusting. I can't even see straight how many times this week I have seen really spammy stuff and doing some evaluations. And there are people out there who still use white text on a white background, for goodness sakes. So knowing that, and knowing that people are still trying to game the system, is the whole reason that... Uh, there's a payday loans update, right? And Google said this is a really spammy area. So knowing that, what I would do, what I do going forward, is I continue to do the really good stuff I feel like is of value for multiple reasons. If Google doesn't like my links and press releases, they could just not count them. Or Vocus or PR Web or whoever I'm using might just make them all no-follow by default. So be it. So. I'm just going to keep on doing the good marketing things I'm doing, and as long as you're trying to be above board, I believe you're probably going to be safe. The reality is I think Google and making its new statement about webmaster guidelines is really just trying to have a broad enough statement that they cover their bases going forward so that they, they don't have to change the linking guidelines every five minutes in their webmaster tools or webmaster guidelines, but can rather just have an all-inclusive statement. The reality is, as SEOs, we're all trying to game that algorithm. And as Google will always tell you, they don't really want you gaming their algorithm, right? That's, they want to shut that down. They have a feeling that they feel like their, their algorithm puts forth the best, most quality sites. They don't want you and I to necessarily be adjusting that and, and doing our own thing. Um, and so they're not going to be really clear with us about all of these different requirements, and they never will be. So, just go out there and do the best you can and keep trying to do the good things. And I don't really believe that Google's trying to punish people who are doing things for good. They're really trying to shut down a lot of the spamminess that's out there. Get more search marketing wisdom at bit.ly slash mojo dash minute. Plus check out Search Mojo on YouTube. And that's been a Mojo Minute.